In this video, we'll be looking at the Sea to Summit Airlight Towel, which is one of the 5 best backpacking towels that I review on this channel. I'll be unboxing and testing the Airlight Towel against dirt, sand, and seawater. I will also give you a breakdown of its key features, such as absorbency, quick drying abilities, material, and more. Let's get right into it. Here's the Sea to Summit Airlight Towel that I bought from a local retailer on sale and paid about 23 US dollars for the extra large size. The Sea to Summit official website shows the usual retail price to be about 22 bucks though. And with that, let's get into the unboxing. What's in the box? A storage pouch, the Sea to Summit Airlight towel, and you can find the care instructions rolled up in the towel. Here are my personal measurements of the Sea to Summit Airlight towel in an extra large size. Length 51 inches or 130 cm, width 20.25 inches or 51 cm. Weight of towel 69 grams or 2.4 ounces. Weight of storage pouch. 4 grams or 0.14 ounces. Packed size 4 by 2.5 by 2.25 inches or 10 by 6 by 6 cm. The airlight hull is made of 85% polyester and 15% nylon and is made in China. The Sea to Summit airlight towel does not have a hanging loop, but it does come with this fastener that you can attach to a press stud on the inside of the storage pouch. You can then use the storage pouch's hanging loop to hang your towel in most places, like on a hook. To hang your towel on a clothesline or on your pack, you need an extra carabiner. You can also just hang the airlight towel to dry without the loop. For additional convenience, it is also machine washable and can be tumbled dry on low heat. The storage pouch is made of 15D nylon and you can use a carabiner to hang it outside your pack. The airlight towels also marketed to be absorbent, fast drying and super portable. Is it though? Let's test it to find out. To test absorbency, I measured the amount of water in this bucket, soaked the Sea to Summit airlight towel and measured whatever water was left. Essentially, the airlight towel absorbed 150ml of water as it weighs 69 grams. Total absorbency is 150 divided by 69, which is about 2.2 times. I also performed the same test on a similar size cotton bath towel which absorbed 1100ml of water and has a much higher absorbency of 3.26 times. As the cotton towel is a lot fluffier, it beats the airlight towel in terms of absorbency. After soaking the Sea to Summit airlight towel, I wringed out as much water as possible. Here's the airlight before wringing and after wringing. So after wringing, the airlight weighed 131 grams or 4.6 ounces. This means that 41% of water was left. As for the cotton towel, it weighed 842 grams or 29.7 ounces after wringing and 46% of water was left. Here's the comparison between the air light and the cotton towel. If you enjoyed what you've seen so far, please hit that like button as it will really help me to produce more content like this for you. Thank you. After wringing, I left both the Sea to Summit airlight towel and the cotton towel to dry outdoors. The airlight towel started off at 131 grams or 4.6 ounces and dried completely in about 14 minutes. On the other hand, the cotton towel took 2 hours and 15 minutes to dry. When left indoors to dry after wringing, the airlight towel took 2 hours to dry completely. In contrast, the cotton towel took much longer, drying only after 27 hours. Here's a summary of the outdoor and indoor timings for this drying test. The airlight towel is much less fluffy, so it dried more quickly. 
For this next drying test, I measured 100ml or 3.4 fluid ounces of water for the Sea to Summit air light towel and also for the cotton towel and left both to dry outdoors. This is to make sure that both towels absorbed the same amount of water. The air light towel started off at 169 grams or 6 ounces and dried completely in about 22 minutes. As for the cotton towel, it took much longer, drying in about 40 minutes. I also conducted the same test indoors. When left indoors, the air light towel took 2 hours and 45 minutes to dry completely. On the other hand, the cotton towel took much longer, drying in about 7 hours. Here's a summary of the outdoor and indoor timings for this 100ml drying test, which shows that the air light towel dries much more quickly than the cotton towel. I soaked both the Sea to Summit air light towel and the con towel in seawater, wringed out whatever I could, then sealed both in separate plastic bags. At the two day mark, the air light towel had no smell, while the cotton towel smelled sour and unpleasant. At the four day mark, the air light had a faint smell, while the cotton towel started smelling like food that had gone bad. I also checked for mold, and there wasn't any. For this grass and dirt test, I dragged both the Sea to Summit air light towel and the cotton towel along some grass and stepped on them. The air light towel picked up a couple tiny pieces of dry grass, but it was very easy to shake them off. The cotton towel picked up a little more dirt, which I thought came off easily, but after getting home, I noticed some dirt was still stuck to it. For this test, the air light towel beats the cotton towel. For the sand test, I covered both the Sea to Summit air light and the cotton towel with sand. Only a little bit of sand stuck to the air light, which shook off super easily. More sand stuck to the cotton towel, but shaking it did the job as well. The air light performed better than the cotton towel when it came to sand, though the cotton towel did pretty well too. It might have performed better than you expected because it's not fluffy and has short piles. The Sea to Summit air light towel weighs 69 grams or 2.4 ounces, whereas a similar size cotton towel weighs 337 grams or 11.9 ounces. It is also significantly more compact. Here's what it looks like beside the cotton towel from the side and also from the top. For further comparison, here's what the air light towel looks like beside a 16 ounce and a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle from the side and also from the top. Unfortunately, the air light towel doesn't come with a hanging loop. Its storage pouch does have a hanging loop though, so you can hang it on your peg using a carabiner. To fold the air light towel, just halve it five times, roll it up, and fit it back into the storage pouch. You can also just stuff it back into the pouch easily without folding. The Sea to Summit air light towel is kind of soft, smooth to the touch, and it's not stiff at all. It does stick to my skin, so I have to pat instead of wipe, though I don't feel damp after drying off. It feels thin and nothing like a regular towel. As for sizing, the air light towel is slightly smaller than my regular cotton bath towel. As for quality, the edges are laser cut instead of stitched. After about 2-3 to three months of light usage, there are signs of fraying on the edges. My air light towel also lost about 1 gram of material, which is about 1.4% of its original weight. The Pacific blue color that I bought is pretty good though, and doesn't seem to bleed very much. As for the press stud, it doesn't feel very secure and comes apart with fairly minimal tension. I'm not a big fan of this feature and I prefer the conventional snap loop found on other camping and backpacking towels. I do like the storage pouch though. It's strong and lightweight, though the bottom isn't waterproof. I read the reviews on Amazon and here's what I found. Positive reviews said that the Sea to Summit air light towel dries off well, is fast drying, and is compact and lightweight. Do I agree with this? It does dry my body off pretty well without me feeling damp. Also, it dries about 82% faster than a cotton towel and is my second lightest backpacking towel. On the other hand, negative reviews said that the sizing runs a bit small, which I agree with. So, what are my personal pros and cons for the Sea to Summit air light towel? Pros, the air light towel is very portable, weighing just 69 grams or 2.4 ounces and packing down at least 10 times smaller than a regular cotton towel. It's fast drying and dries 82% faster than a cotton towel. 
The air light towel also has antimicrobial odor protection and is grass, dirt, and sand repellent. As for cons, the air light towel's quality isn't the best because there are signs of fraying on the edges, and it also lost 1.4% of its original material after just a few months of light usage. The material is also very thin and not the most comfortable. This isn't really a con for me because I got used to it, but just keep this in mind if this is important to you. Would I recommend the Sea to Summit Air Light Towel? As for the Air Light Towel's performance, it's actually pretty good. It rings out well, it's fast drying, has good odor resistance, good dirt repellents, and it's super portable. But I think its biggest flaw is that the quality is kind of lacking. After a few months of light usage, there's already signs of fraying and a pretty significant material loss. So long-term durability is definitely questionable. Based on this, I don't think I can recommend the Air Light Towel as the best backpacking towel out there. There are definitely other better options available. To check out those other options, here's a video where I bought, tested, and compared five of the best backpacking towels on the market, including the Air Light Towel. If you prefer to read, my website at campingguidance.com has all this info as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.